Hey guys, another week, another shopping haul. So for these bits, I seem to have lost my receipt. I went back to my hometown, so while I was there, I popped into Tesco's. They have a massive world's food aisle. In actual fact, it's like three aisles. So I was, I was living my dream because where I live now, it's just half an aisle of world's food, barely anything. Um, and there was so much Don's River stuff. And my local shops haven't had the mild curry powder in quite a while, so I picked up three of them. It's also cheaper to get it in London than it is where I live now, which is really strange because it's still sold by a mainstream supermarket. But there you go. I think this came to around £18, if I can remember correctly. It was about that. So firstly, I picked up these crispy fried onions. I think these would really be nice over salads and things like that. I picked up these roasted red peppers, yum, some mixed pickle, I haven't seen these before but I wanted to give them a try, these seasonings, I can't actually read them but they just look really really interesting, I have had these before, these are so good, this Chinese curry sauce is just like the Chinese takeaway, you dilute it with water, oh, water. yummy. Then I got some chicken masala. Like I said, the mild curry powder from Dunn's River. Dunn's River chicken seasoning. This ginger, garlic and pimento seasoning. And some chicken seasoning. Then in Morrison's I spent £15.20. and pence For fruits and veggies I got some peppers. These were 30 pence. I picked up two of them. I got three lots of salad. 25 pence. Apples. 50 pence, two lots of grapes, 50 pence, that's actually a dishwasher coming on if you can hear it. Not had these before, but wanted to give them a try. Sweet potato fritters, 63 pence, I picked up a few of them. Some turkey breast steaks, 88 pence. Pork kebabs, 107. Fish fingers, 63 pence. Hunter's chicken was a pound. Tandoori chicken, excuse me, was also a pound. Fish cakes, 38 pence. I got some milk, this was 25 pence. Eggs, 48. Cherry pie, 15 pence, yum. I actually picked up two of these, but the woman at this hill um, <laughs> said, is there any more up there? And I went back to have a look, because there was one I left, but not when I went back. And um, yeah, I just gave her one of mine. I got some bread rolls, 30 pence, and some Lincolnshire sausages at, well, 25 pence. So we needed an Audi big shop. I feel like it's been a while since we had a big shop. And me and Danny were talking about maybe we should do, I don't know, a big shop once a month. Or make sure we go to Audis every other week. Um, because what I have been doing is when I run out of bread and milk, even though I've been shopping at Morrison's, we may just pop to Audis and get bread and milk, but we always pick up a couple of extra bits. I'm not sure if that's working out more expensive or not. And you know, in these times, you really need to watch your money, don't you? Let me know what you're doing to try and make that pound stretch on your shopping budget, because it's one of the only things that we really have any control over, isn't it? So we did spend 124 pounds and 20 pence, which actually I think is amazing for the amount that I've got. So for non-food items, we needed Toilet roll, nappies for Ella, dog food for Pixie, then I needed some cleaning products. I did need washing powder but they didn't have any, and fabric softener, they didn't have any. But I did get some bleach, polish, washing up liquid, ironing water, toilet block cleaners, black bags, two packs of paracetamol, body wash stuff, Danny picked up a couple of these for himself and then the kids use the sensitive one. I picked up this, I've seen some really good reviews on it, the Hot Cough Cleanser. And even though I have been trying to use up a lot of the stuff I've already got, I just wanted to try this honestly. I've been I've made a pledge to myself that I need to use up stuff I've got before I buy things. I really have I'm going off the of track here, but never mind. I have you know, like all girls do, so many like shampoos, conditioners, face washes, and I want to use up what I've got before I buy more, but I broke my rule on that. So I'm cleaning products. 
I have a cupboard full of cleaning products and before I buy more and more and more I want to use up what I've got I just needed a few staples you know anyway for fruits and veg I got loads of Morrison so I just needed grapes meats I managed to get these chicken breast fillets 30 percent off so I got three of them we haven't had gammon in a while so we picked that up ribs same we fancied them and some pork chops so we picked them up yum these fish burgers are absolutely gorgeous we picked them up salami meat stills for the boys pack up dairy didn't need much we did pick up some milk marge yogurts cheese and cheese singles cupboard things i needed rice so i got the basmati and the long grain pasta four tins of chopped tomatoes and four passata because all my red sauces i make like chili con carne curries spaghetti bolognese i don't buy jars of pre-made ones i make them so that's why i go through so many of you know tins of tomatoes and stuff like that i got this oyster and spring onion stir fry sauce and the sweet chili and garlic these are really nice this is new i'm new <laughs> peri peri salt thought i'd give that a try some taco beans gravy both the beef and the chicken two oil coffee the decaf didn't last I, we tried it but we just couldn't get on with drinking decaf coffee it doesn't taste nice at all um sugar cameron put in a request for these cocktail things that you put in the freezer he really likes them some roller cola boys pack uppy bits jammy wheels safari stacks the rings groovy biscuits got some crackers yum cheese and crackers of an evening honey nut cereal two of them some ice lollies as the weather's picking up kids love to have a nice one in the garden some biscuits and some chocolates for kids the younger ones requested chocolate I got some wraps and then a mix of crisps. So, I hope you guys are all well and you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.